Hey, I'm Connor Smith, and I'm one of Pandora's 2022 Artists to Watch. Let me tell you a little bit more about myself and my artist journey. Being named one of Pandora's 2022 Artists to Watch is a really big deal for me, I think. Uh, I've always believed that uh, in, in chasing this dream, having as many people that believe in you and, and um, want you to succeed is a really big deal. And so uh, to kind of come out with, with my first EP and my, my first taste of my music and then to have Pandora back that up and say they believe in me as well, um, it's really encouraging. And uh, in, in this town, it's, uh, there's a lot of days you feel like you're going to take over and there's, there's days you feel like you wonder if these songs will ever get heard. Um, so those little things like, like Pandora kind of getting behind us is uh, one of those things that really just encourage you to keep, keep, keep writing songs and, uh, and keep, keep chasing down the stream. I grew up in Nashville, Tennessee, and uh, it really has shaped so much who I am. I mean, part of you know, my story is I, I learned that writing songs was a job because I was around it being in Nashville. And so when I was six years old, that, that was really uh, kind of the only dream I had was to write songs for a living. And so, um, you know, this town is just filled with so much creativity, so much inspiration. And, um, and so when you're a six year old and you tell your parents you want to write songs for a living and, and tell stories through country songs, they don't think you're crazy because, uh, you know, you're around it and, and they kind of understand what that means. A dream artist collab for me, uh, one would be Eric Church. Um, I just, he's a master at songwriting and somebody I've studied for a long time. Another would be Kenny Chesney. Uh, there's no artist that has shaped me more than Kenny. And then third, I gotta go with my boy Thomas Rhett uh, and hopefully that'll be coming along soon. So the first concert I ever went to was Kenny Chesney at Nissan Stadium, uh, which is the big stadium in Nashville. I was seven years old and my mom surprised me with tickets after a baseball game. And uh, there's a picture somewhere of me at this concert with Kenny Chesney's stage behind me. And I've got a green hat on that, that just says country star. Um, and so I guess it was at least a little bit foreshadowing. This last year as we've gotten music out has been a really special time. I've, I've said before, I feel like uh, like every few weeks I have like a birthday because there's something to celebrate. Um, but the most rewarding moment so far of this last year since we've put songs out is, you know, undoubtedly playing the Grand Ole Opry. Um, we stepped on that stage and stepped in that circle and actually got to play a song on the Opry uh, during my debut. That was a song I wrote when I was, I was 14 years old. And so I played this song and uh, kind of su surprised my family with it. And, and just the moment of being in that circle, playing the song, it was really kind of a picture of just the Lord's faithfulness and this journey and this dream I've had. And uh, it's gonna be hard to beat what that moment meant to me. Ever since I was six years old and I learned about writing songs, it's, it's been my only dream. And uh, I would get home every day from school and I would write songs until baseball practice. And, um, and so it's been really special to still be living in that same dream and, and now, you know, be a, you know, quote unquote professional at, at writing songs. And um, I think as you get older, the way that you tell stories, the way you see the world just evolves. Um, but also as I've gotten in, you know, these writing rooms with, with, you know, the best people to ever do it in country music and get to learn from them and just study the way that they've written songs, you know, one on one. Um, it's been really cool to see the way that, you know, my journey as a songwriter has really grown. and. Um, and like I said, as, as we put out music, I, I want fans to really know who I am through the songs that I write. Nashville's such a small town. It's such a, uh, a town where everybody wants everybody to win. And I've always believed that uh, one of the biggest things in Nashville is to have as many people who want you to succeed as possible. Just be a good enough person that uh, people will look at you and, and, and celebrate when you win as well. And um, The other thing I say is uh, for any, any new artist who's moving to town, it's uh, man, spend time writing songs. If you don't know how to tell your story, then uh, it's going to be hard for someone else to. And uh, that's been the biggest thing for me uh, as we've gotten started in, in this journey.